So for today's episode, I'm going to do five cities that aren't as small as you might think they are. These are cities that rank kind of lower in terms of just raw population, but are actually much larger in terms of the actual areas surrounding them. And these aren't in any specific ranking or anything, but I'm going to do five of them here, and here we go. So first off, I have for you St. Louis, Missouri, and this is one of the largest differences in terms of city population and the population of the area around it. St. Louis is technically the second largest city in Missouri, but it's really the largest because you just have so much population that isn't in the immediate downtown area. Overall, it ranks 63rd nationally with around 300,000 residents. However, it's urban and metro rank 20th, and its combined statistical area population is at 19. And this really helps explain why the St. Louis Cardinals always rank in the top five in attendance in Major League Baseball, aside from being one of the best baseball towns in the country. Next, I have for you Cleveland, Ohio, which is in the most populated region of the state in Northeast Ohio. And this city ranks 53rd nationally in population with just under 400,000 people, but its urban population ranks 25th, and its combined statistical area ranks 17th, which is a large departure from the 53rd in terms of just city population. Cleveland lost a lot of people to the suburbs, so that's why you can drive pretty much in any of the three directions other than north, obviously, and still be in some fairly populated areas. Next I have for you Salt Lake City, Utah, which is probably a city you wouldn't expect to be on this list. And it ranks 114th nationally in population, just under 200,000 people. However, when the combined statistical area is taken into account, it actually ranks all the way up at 22, with over 2.6 million people. And what you have here really is a good definition of a state city which is a city that the entire state population kind of revolves around. And as far as Utah is concerned, the vast percentage of its population gravitates around the Salt Lake City area. And the populated areas really, around the freeways anyway, continue on for miles and miles around the city. So though on its face it seems quite small, it's really a lot larger. Next I have for you Cincinnati, Ohio, which is the 65th largest city in America. While it ranks at 65th in city population, its metro is actually 28th and its CSA is 30th. Now it's the third largest in Ohio, but its population extends fairly far out into parts of southern Ohio and parts of northern Kentucky. So just because it looks kind of small as far as the skyline and the overall downtown, its population is still fairly large, even though it, like many Rust Belt cities, lost a lot of people in the last 70 years. Now, Orlando isn't really a city that you think of when you think of like really large cities. It's got more of a touristy reputation. However, it is very large despite being the 71st largest city in America by strict city population. Its metro ranks 23rd, and its combined statistical area ranks all the way up at 15 with over 3 million residents. So even though this ranks behind other cities in Florida in direct population while only having one major pro sports team, it still is a very large city and only continues to grow. So there you have five cities that are larger than you might think. And I thank you for watching.